Okay. A review. Number one, they did not introduce themselves. They didn't. Number two, he did not speak English, but somebody in the office did. And number three, was he friendly? He was very, very, very friendly. Yes, like muy amable. <laughs> we loved him. Um, and he was very, very helpful. So to answer number four, uh, and he could answer our questions. We asked about going to San Luis for a weekend. And he, even though it wasn't, it's not in the province of Santa Rosa, he was able to help us. He looked online and found some information for us. So he was able to answer all of our questions and more. These were on the outside of the building. Um, they're websites for different parts of La Pampa. Uh, for example, Casa de la Piedra, right here, like we just heard about, uh, or Parque Duro. Um, and so those are on the outside of the building, and he also showed us some websites on a leaflet as well. They provide. They did provide us with lots of relevant and accurate information, um, like and they tailored like the information to what we were interested in as well. So we said we were interested in going to national parks and stuff, and he was like pointing everything out on the map for us to have a look at. And he gave us like this massive map, like better than last time actually. He gave us loads of like leaflets. So he gave us this map. And while he was talking to us, he showed us with a pen, oh, here is Santa Rosa. This is where we are. And he took a highlighter and said, oh, here's Parque Nacional Blado. Or here is another place. And he showed us with a marker, which was very helpful. Because um, he's so pretty sort of clearly because he knew that we were foreign so that we might not understand some things that he was saying in Spanish so we'd sort of say something and then try and make, say it like an easier way so we would understand. Yeah, so these are some of the leaflets. These are some of the, the leaflets and maps that they gave us. Uh, which were better than the last time I, we went when they gave us a rubbish map. Um, and he showed us a lot of photos. Uh, so he would talk about, oh, here is General Pico. And here is a photo of it. So it's more enticing, like we want to go, when he shows us pictures of it. So we could pass this around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we didn't have to wait very long in the office, he like ran in to come and speak to us. And um, there were lots of leaflets and brochures, but then he would tell us about a place and then I asked if he was telling us about a cave, and I really love caves. Um, but there was a leaflet about this cave, because um, he said that they'd run out of some leaflets. Um, but then he found something later on and sort of ran over to us and was like, look, this is a, a picture of this cave. Um, so yeah, they did give us some leaflets, but they were only written in Spanish. There wasn't any sort of information available for us in English. Uh, so that might be a bit more difficult for tourists that can't speak Spanish. Everything only in Spanish. No other language, nothing. Which is fine for us but someone might come in and only speak English or whatever language. Okay. Any questions? Here are, here is a photo of the leaflets they had out 
It was one long table with these sorts of things on it. Uh, this is even for the movie theater uh, in Santa Rosa. Um, he told us about Mucho Gusto, a store or restaurant um, for products that are from Santa Rosa. Um, and some different leaflets and things like this. He also, um, he gave us this map of Santa Rosa, and so we had gone previously to this office in the afternoon one day, and the woman working gave us this map of Santa Rosa, and it's very blurry, no es claro, like no puedo ver, it's very blurry and not helpful. But when we asked him, he gave us a very clear, useful map, and that was very kind and thoughtful uh, and could make a very big difference in someone's experience at the office because this, it was nice of her, but it's not helpful. So you can look and compare these two and see how helpful this one is and this one. So would you say that the service was different in the morning than in the afternoon? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Like, they were both like enthusiastic, but the one in the morning was being to, he just had so much information. Like he was telling us about products from La Pampa, about the salt lashes, and like products that were produced there, which he'd not really told us about before. Um, yeah. So, that was our experience in the tourist office. He even gave us a bag for all our leaflets. He said, oh, oh, there you go. Like, so, so nice, so nice. Um, and he asked us if we had any more questions, but we were talking to him for 20, 30 minutes, so we were good. Um, but very helpful, and he was not pressing us for time, not in a rush. Uh, very nice and took the time to talk to us. Yeah, they even told us that if we were going on trips outside of La Pampa that we could always go to them and ask if they had any contacts in like say Bariloche or somewhere and they'd say if it was a, we were doing a good trip or not or recommend us other things so that was nice, that was really nice. Um, and so then we left the office and went to the souvenir shop or artisanal market next door. Um, and so to answer these questions, uh, were there souvenirs on sale? Yes, uh, there were a lot, a lot of beautiful, um, you could tell they're handmade and from La Pampa. Uh, were they cheap or expensive? We took some pictures, oops. <coughs> of the prices. Uh, for example, this mate up here, like wooden, beautiful mate, is seven, 473 pesos. So do you think that's a lot? 
the point is uh, that they are made sometimes by local people right. with a special uh, raw products, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's the craft itself yeah. what right. you have to pay. And I think that tourists are willing to pay this high price because they know it's from the locals that made it um, and that it will be good quality items for this price. Um, but all of the things in the shop were very beautiful. <laughs> Oh. And then one, one more thing about the market was that the man working there didn't talk to us at all. He didn't even say hola, uh, didn't ask us if we needed help, nothing. And we found that very rare. Yeah. Anywhere we walk into in Santa Rosa, people say hola, que necesitas, or anything like that. He said nothing. So it would have been nice if he said hi or hola and asked if we needed help or explained some of the products because we're looking at it, but it would be nice to have a description or learn something about what we're seeing and maybe it would make us buy it even more No, no. if we, if we they, knew about it. They, no, no they didn't. he didn't talk to us <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. So, any questions about the souvenir shop? So, you know the artesanía in the policía, No, of course not. It's the first time they are here, you see. No, of course they do. No. Sorry. Did Louis a souvenir? Did I buy one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. Did I buy one? Um, no. <laughs> I didn't know. Maybe like when I leave something yes. now, I'm just Okay. When you leave Santa Rosa, do you think that you might take some souvenirs for your family? Yes. Because my family yes. would be very disappointed. Like, you lived in Argentina and you didn't buy anything? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this is, um, this is about the display. So um, what did we see in the exhibition? We saw quite a few photos of uh, places in the region and there was like a display cabinet with like some deer antlers in obviously from Parque del Juro um, sort of obviously showing what the Pampa, La Pampa has to offer um, but these pictures were didn't really they didn't have captions or anything did they they were just sort of pictures on the wall so for someone that doesn't know this play area it's sort of like well what is this place it's pretty but where where is this place that I could visit? Um, the, the exhibitions weren't explained to us, um, but there, were, there was as well like a cabinet of like artisan products like um, wine and like jam, I think. I think it's jam and like jewelry as well. Um, these weren't explained to us and they didn't have any prices on them either. So if we did want to buy them, there wasn't sort of any sort of Price or anything like that. Um, there wasn't anything interactive for children, so if you went with the child, they'd probably be quite bored because there was just pictures and, like, obviously adults talking for children. That's so boring. <laughs> um, but we were directed to a website um, for Santa Rosa, and there you could find all the information that we would want to know. Um, so that was a very useful resource. And the website was up to date as well. And they said that they put um, events of things that were happening in the area at like the weekend, for example, like the fest. Was there something in Twy this weekend I saw? Like, yes, we saw. So they, they gave us a website, which is also here. Tourism of La Pampa, and there's local events like something 